Hello and welcome everyone to JS and RS solution family. This channel is like my family uh, where we are about more than 8000 members and it is growing day by day. And thank you everyone for being with this family. Uh, I hope all is well with you. However, today's video is very important for you guys. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to perform NDVI using Sentinel-2 imagery. Expecting you guys will enjoy this video. You already know what is NDVI. Uh, NDVI quantifies vegetation by measuring the difference between near infrared and red light. How do you calculate NDVI? Uh, as uh, shown below, normalized difference vegetation index uses the NIR and red channel. Uh, in this formula you can see here and for sentinel 2 uh, the index looks like this uh, you can see here uh, for sentinel 2 uh, we will use mainly band 8 and uh, band 4 and for uh, other data set like landsat 8 landsat 5 7 modis and uh, dvi uh, is uses different uh, band set here is the multispectral bands for Sentinel-2 special resol resolution. Uh, however, first open arc map. Here is my downloaded Sentinel-2 imagery. If you don't know how to download Sentinel-2 imagery, you can check my videos in this channel. I have recently uploaded a video on it. For Sentinel-2, uh, we need Band-8 and Band-4. I'm adding Band-8 and Band-4. Band-8 and Band-4 then click add now i will add a study area shape file according to this shape file i will keep only my area of interest here is my study area shape file Uh, go to a special analyze tools then extraction extract by mask input raster first i will add band 8 as input raster and input uh, raster or feature mask data is my study area you can save uh, output raster in your uh, pc where you want Band 8. I'm going to rename it. I have extracted uh, Band 8 according to my study data shape file. And then Band 4. And feature match data is my study area. Then click OK. Band 4 uh, also extracted according to the study sh area shape file. I'm going to rename it as band 4. Now I don't need this uh, data. So I got band 4 and band 8. Now I'll perform NDVI for doing that. Go to map algebra then raster calculator you will get this interface for sentinel 2 we need band 8 and band 4 so here is the equation you can see band 8 minus band 4 uh, divided by band 8 plus band 4 
cloth then band aid minus band 4 divided by band 8 plus band 4 cloth band 8 plus band 4 output raster I will save my output raster in a folder I'm giving it a name as NDVI dot TIF save then click OK you can see over here my NDVI has done the high value is uh, 0.6 and the lowest value is minus 0.2 symbology then color ramp you can change the color When you have negative values, it's highly likely that it's water. On the other hand, if you have an NDVI value close to positive one, there is a high possibility that it's dense green leaves. But when NDVI is close to zero, there are not green leaves and it could even be an urbanized area. And values close to zero uh, I mean minus 0.1 to uh, 0.1 generally correspond to barren areas of rock sand or snow and low positive value represents shrubs and grassland while high values indicate temperate and tropical rainforest if you want to break the values and classify land covers then go to properties and then uh, click on classified classes want to classify as six classes and also you can change the color you can classify uh, manually I mean you can uh, break the value I'm going to break the NDVI uh, range according to this uh, for example uh, First value 0 0.015, second 0 0.014, third 0 0.018. Water build up area, barren land, sharks and dust and sparse vegetation, dense vegetation. You can write this value manually. Here is my break value according to this class and in the range. And click OK. You can change the uh, color according to the class. For water, I'm going to pick uh, the blue color. In urban area, In barren land. Land, spares, vegetation, dense vegetation. You can select the color as per your uh, Then click OK.
can keep uh, the value and also you can uh, keep the class name inside the value for doing that uh, right click on NDVI and properties mm, label uh, uh, from here you can write water then urban area filter area Now you can see over here the value uh, with the class name. I hope you have learned about how to perform NDVI using Sentinel 2 imagery and also how to make classes with break values. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do so, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you already subscribed, then thank you so much. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and healthy.